everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet little flip lid gift box. And this is in the style of a snowman. So it's very straightforward to make. It's just a handy size box on its own anyway. And then I finished it off here with some black Nouveau drops for the eyes and the mouth and the little buttons there. And then I've got some ribbon for the scarf and I've just cut a little triangle there from some orange cardstock. This is just using some of those sprigs that I've used before and a couple of little beads there for the berries and yeah I just think it's really nice you can see inside you've got a nice space this is two and five eighths by two and five eighths because I wanted to make sure that you could use your normal A4 or letter paper size so it's two and five eighths by five and three quarters is the actual box the the tallest part altogether is seven and a half so it's a really nice size and really fun to make so let me show you Okay, so they're the Nouveau drops I'm using. So it's the crystal drops, and this is just crystal, oh, sorry, ebony black. And then I'm using a two inch circle punch or a two inch die, circle die, that's what you'll need. And you want to punch two circles out because that's going to be for the top of the hat and the bottom. Let's hold it in one place. This is the ribbon I'm using, it's the Dovecraft Creative Ribbons. And it doesn't, that one hasn't got a particular name for that pattern, but there it is there. And then that's the stuff for the decoration, a little bit of orange card, and then this is what's needed. So this is for the lid and this is for the base. So I've just got some 300 GSM white card stock and you want yours to be 11 by eight and a quarter. Okay, so it's the standard A4 width. And then if you're using letter, um, sorry, A4, you just wanna bring it down to 11. And if you've got letter paper, then yours will already be that measurement. So you wanna, first of all, along the longer side, you wanna score at two and five eighths of an inch five and a quarter, seven and seven eighths of an inch and ten and a half. Then rotate and score at two and five eighths of an inch all the way down. That's everything for the main box. This is six and five eighths of an inch squared and you want to score at one and two inches on all four sides. So again just one and two and that'll give you our reinforced lid. You will also need another piece to make the tube, but we'll do that in a minute because I can't exactly remember my measurements. So I need to, once I put all this together, then I'll know what I've used. So first of all, with your lid and the main box, just fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, so we'll stick with the lid while I've got that in my hands. So what you want to do, because we've got the flip detail here, so you'll see we've got this piece stuck on the back there. So all you want to do, you can keep it double-sided if you want. So first of all, we'll cut it so that if you want to keep it double-sided, you can. If you want to remove it, then you can as well. So all you want to do is remove the four squares in the corner. All right, so there's four little squares in all of your corners. So I've just removed those four there. You can see four there, four there, four there. Remove those four, and then again, remove those four there. Okay, now it's up to you if you wanna add glue there and fold that over just so it's reinforced, okay? I think I might as well actually, might as well keep it there. Otherwise you can cut that away and just stick it so it's single-sided. Then go to the opposite side, and you're gonna cut down this one and this one so you're cutting past the first score line and down to the second then you want to remove the two outer ones completely and remove that one so we've just got that there and then on all the outer sides just cut away a little wedge just so everything folds in nicely like so Okay, and you want to repeat that on this side here. So again, we're just going to cut up this score line and this score line. Remove those two and remove that one. And again, just take a little wedge off of all of those. Okay, so you want something like that. Then if you do a bit of cutting on this while you've got your scissors there. So with your half inch tab on the right hand side, you just want to cut up the first score line to the first score line there and remove that piece and then just take a little wedge off of those two and then just go up and cut up all of these score lines just again to that first one 
like so. And then what's going to happen is this is all going to go around. That's going to be the back. So I want this one here, which is the third one from the left, to be the last one I stick down. So that one I just want to keep nice and square. But all of the other ones, I'm just going to take a wedge off of all of the sides so that you don't get anything overhanging. Okay, next we want to do some gluing. So I'm just using my glue here. And you just want to pop some glue along your tab. If you fold it over, fold your left panel over and then the right so it's all in half and then that will just line up perfectly. And then where that join is, again that's going at the back, so that square one, keep at the front. Fold the opposite one in, add some glue, pack that one down, pack the other one down and then finally the last one. And because you've taken those little edges off the sides you won't see anything overhanging and that one because it's nice and square you just cover the whole of the base and turn it upside down and you can just go in there and just spread that all out okay so that's everything we need to do there then back to our lid again with my glue I'm just going to pop it on one of these tabs here like so bring it under and then around and stick it down so you start to create the top of your lid again get the other one bring it down and under and then with these three here and with that one so imagine it is together like that but this is going to be our flip but you want to put if you've still kept that piece on so it is optional that one is just going to fold straight over onto that one but all these ones are going to fold in and it's just to I just find reinforced lids where you can if you've got enough cardstock and the measurements will work out make a reinforced lid I think they look nicer and they are you know they are strong you're just folding them in again do the last one there again just go in with your bone folder then just make sure it's all flattened down nicely okay then you want to add some glue to the flap so just on one side there and again, where the join is on the back, if you pop the lid on, and then, and it will be a snug fix, it's exactly the same size, but because we've got that flip piece, it allows you to just have that little bit of room, really, for it to go over. But now if you bring it up, you can just go in underneath there. You'll get a really nice closure. Okay, so, and it kind of locks in, it's nice and tight. So that's it all done. So if you just want a simple box, then there you have one. All right, you don't have to obviously do it in the colours I've done it. It's just a nice little flip lid, and I've got lots of flip lid tutorials. Okay, so you want a piece of cardstock for the hat, and this is two and three quarters by, I think it's six and a half. Half of it is going to be like a tab, but you don't need to put a score line there or anything. It's just better to just leave it. So along the short side, score at half an inch and two and a quarter. I've already done mine. And just fold and burnish those two score lines okay and then with your bone folder just you want to curl the cardstock okay and then you want to cut just little like triangles all along here you would have you know I'm sure many of you would have done this kind of thing in school I've shared it in tutorials it's just what you do when you you're making anything circular because it helps the card stay in that shape and it doesn't buckle and you get creases and stuff in it so you get a nice smooth curve so I'm just going along they're maybe about three eighths of an inch wide some are a little bit wider it really doesn't matter but make sure you do you know a few in there because we'll be adding glue to it so you don't want to make them too small because you do want there to be you know enough cardstock to add glue to but at the same time you do want it to be able to you know wrap so let me just take them away and you can see what we've got there okay so it looks like a load of teeth but when it goes around we're going to stick it around one of these circles and all these pieces fold in so it gives you a surface to stick to but you get a really nice finish so just repeat that on this side as well because this is where we're going to one will be the top and one will be the bottom so again I'm just going to quickly go along and do that one okay so now you'll have a piece like this I've got one still there 
Next we are going to attach it to one of these two inch circles. Now if yours is a little bit bigger and you haven't got two inches then I would cut this a little bit longer so maybe just do seven inches for example or a little bit less if you're doing under that because you can easily trim this even when we stuck it all around so it's best to be a bit longer that's why I think it's six and a half. Six and a half will be fine I don't think I'll have to cut anything away but there might be a bigger tab than normal for example but what you want to do is just do it bit by bit and I'd say liquid glue is best for this. I mean, you could run some tape covering them all. Actually, that might be all right. I've done the other one with liquid glue, but now just thinking about it, because I, I can't see why this wouldn't also work. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to, I'm just thinking for speed. I'm going to run it along just near the score line there. So we try it on one side, and then if it doesn't, you know, if I think it's going to be a bit more difficult, then we try it on the other one. And then what you want to do is start off right on the first one and just stick it to the outer part of that circle. And then as you're going around, if you're new, then I'd say maybe start with the liquid glue first, just because you have a bit of wiggle room. And then if you think you're okay with that, then move on to the tape. But look, that's actually going quite well. I'm kind of hovering it over slightly before I really push it down but it's wrapping around nicely and I think oh yeah just six and a half is just going to fit so actually I'll edit in I think you're going to be better with seven look at that oh my gosh I'm just getting away with that <laughs> <laughs> so actually you want seven and then you'll have half look mine's just covering it by about one eighth of an inch I've got there to stick that over but you want a little bit more than that so I'll just edit in the video um, and it'll be on my blog anyway so don't worry but then I'm just going to pop a little bit of I would have just ran some tape along this piece but um, it's really that's all I've got <laughs> But it will be fine. There's nothing going in this. There's no pressure on this point or anything. It's purely decorative, but it is cute. So I'm just going to hold that there for a second because I've got literally such a small area. Okay, so that's drying. Now what I should have done is added tape to that side as well. It's the first time I've used the tape doing this way. So um, I use liquid glue for that one. But I'm still going to see if I can still do it. But otherwise, yeah, just make sure when I put that tape on that you do both sides. So let's just push that all in there. Because you can't actually add a lot of pressure onto this top one because obviously it's hollow inside. But you can still get away with it. And depending on how much you decorate as well, I mean, if you're using hot glue and things like that, they will all add to, you know, to help strengthen it and things like that. I'm just going to go in, just make sure that's really stuck down and then that last one because it's the same size it should fit perfectly over the top like so so there's the top of our little hat and then that is going to stick on like so so decide you know which one you want in fact i'm going to pop my hot glue on while that's just warming up i'm going to trim a couple of little sprigs and some of my little red berry kind of bits there. I'll do a couple of bigger ones. These are just from, I've used all my red ones and I don't want to buy any more now. I'm literally coming to the end of my Christmas crafting. So I will just use these. And it's just some of that bead trim that you get with your Christmas trees. For his nose, see what I've done there, that length of that one. I'm going to use that as a template. I'm just going to cut that one out, pop it over here. So you're looking at, it's entirely up to you, half an inch, half an inch at the end and then just kind of go into a point. So you're just cutting a little triangle like so. Okay, so once my glue's warmed up, I'm just going to clear all this away. Actually, we can, no, I'll do all that in a minute because I want to do all that once I've done all the sticking and glueings in place. Okay, so I'm just going to add some glue to the bottom of the hat and just stick that there so I've got the seam at the back and then I'm going to start sticking this down so and kind of because it's wired I can wrap it around the hat there and that one there so I've just done those and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of hot glue on my berry 
these. There we go, it looks really cute. And then I don't need the hot glue for anything else, or I might need it on the scarf in a minute. So I'm gonna, in fact, we'll do the scarf now because I don't want to do any more. Once I, the Nuvo drops needs to be the last kind of thing. I can't remember how much I need, so I'm gonna wrap it around. I mean, you can do a bow if you want, but what I've done with this one is I just positioned it so that they've got the pattern, tie a knot like off to one side, and then I just kind of bring that bit over, and then with my hot glue, pop a little bit underneath there so it holds that in place, and then a little bit under that one there, and then you can just trim like so and you've got a nice little scarf and then I'm going to do the Nuva drops and stick that one on so I did do quite big blobs for the eyes now it's like with any of these things that I've done before depending on where you place the eyes it depends on the kind of expression and, and look of your snowman so you see there they're kind of close I guess kind of closest together so always squeeze out any air first of all and then I'm just going to do quite a big one there and keep your nozzle in the liquid until you're finished I think maybe that one needs a bit more there we go and it will self level as well and then I'm going to add the nose in in a minute but I need to come down about here do one in the middle and then I kind of just went out like that and then they kind of got smaller towards the end. Like so, I think it looks really cute. And then I'm going to very carefully add the nose. I'm not going to do any buttons just because of the way his scarf's gone, but you can see if you did want to add those in. And then let's just add a tiny little bit of glue just on that one there. And I need to be very careful and stick that like so. Yay! <laughs> I love making little novelty things like this. I think they're just really fun. There you have it. I'll just bring them up carefully because obviously that is all drying. But now you've got that really fun little flip lid gift. Perfect table favours, these ones, or any kind of, of the novelty style. I think they're really, really fun. And there's the other one all dry. Give them, I would leave that now for the rest of the day. I won't touch that now until tomorrow. Um, but they do normal sizes, things that this will dry within maybe half hour to an hour. The bigger ones definitely leave for a while, but they do, they do dry. They're completely... Um, hardened now so yeah there you have it so I hope you like my little snowman gift boxes and I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye <laughs>